Hey YouTube, Eric from Tactical Missions here. Now I've got another mod for you guys today. This one is a mount modification that allows you to mount your GoPro to any Picatinny or Weaver rail. So what you're going to need is obviously a GoPro. You're going to need one of those adhesive mounts that come with your GoPro. Uh, you're going to need a Picatinny riser. This is a one inch riser. You could probably go a little bigger. This one might be a little small. It might be a little tight but it'll still work. Got this on eBay for like six or eight dollars, so they're pretty inexpensive. You're also going to need these uh, little corner braces or a little L bracket. Um, it's this guy here, picked this one up at Home Depot. You're going to need it to be wide enough here in order for the um, that GoPro adhesive thing to actually fit. The standard size ones are going to be too thin, so you're not going to actually be able to mount anything to it anyway. So make sure you get the double wide ones. You're also going to need. Uh, some bolts and the nuts to go along with them and lastly you're going to need something to cut uh, these to size with and so I have uh, an oscillating blade uh, you could use a handsaw I mean anything that you have to be able to cut this uh, would work so the first thing you're going to need to do is measure how much of this bracket you need to cut off in order for it to fit inside this groove here I mean a little closer to the camera. So you need to figure out how much of this to cut off so that it'll fit inside this groove. So obviously you can see I probably should have gotten a slightly larger one because this is going to be a pretty pretty tight fit. Basically I'm just going to use a sharpie and I'm going to hold this up and uh, just make a mark and then take my first cut. So the cut is finished. If you cut it right it looks something like this. Here's your riser. Here's the cut piece. The L bracket should now fit right in there like that. Um, if you notice that it's tilted down a little bit, try putting a washer between this piece and the side of the uh, the riser here, and that should lift it back up to be to be even. Uh, if that doesn't work, you probably have to just cut a little bit more off the bottom. Uh, either way, um, try the washer if you don't want to go through a whole nother cut. The next step is to drill one or two holes uh, here. Those are going to be used for obviously your bolts. You could use one in the center because this shouldn't pivot because it's going to be underneath that lip there. So it shouldn't um, you know, kind of rotate back and forth on it. It shouldn't be an issue. But if you really want it to be secure, you can use two. Uh, one on the left, one on the right. And that will work just as fine. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these holes and I'll be back. So I decided to go with a single hole for my mod. Uh, I think that'll be sufficient. Uh, well, we'll find out when it all goes together. So the next thing is to drill a hole in the actual um, Picatinny riser itself. The way to do that is, uh, it's pretty obvious, just place them on top of each other like you would when it's finished, and then just grab a Sharpie and draw inside the circle. That's going to leave a dot, and that's where you drill. Pretty simple. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be back in a bit. Here's a quick tip for anyone who's not used to drilling into metal. It helps a lot to use a very small drill bit first to get you kind of a guide hole so that when you use the larger uh, drill bit, it's not you know, rocking all over the place on, uh, on your metal. So I have the hole drilled in the riser now. One of the last steps is to just assemble everything. And so uh, I've got the L bracket here. You're going to take your bolt, you're going to put it on the inside of the L bracket. You're going to take a washer and you're going to put that on the outside of the L bracket. The purpose of the washer is because I didn't cut enough uh, off of this bracket here. And so if I just put it on without a washer, this bracket will sit slightly lopsided. So my GoPro, when it's mounted on my gun, will sit offset and that's not what I want. But if you put the washer there that'll help bring it back up. So you may not need the washer depending on how you cut it. You may need two washers um, so basically just adjust it as you need it. And then you're going to connect that to the riser and then you're going to have to take your nut and put that uh, on the on the back of the, the bolt obviously. Um, so I'm not going to show all of that because that's just going to take a while. Um, so I'm going to put that all together now, and then I'll show you the last step. So the mount is all put together now. You can see it's holding on pretty strong, which is great. 
It's also flush, which is exactly what I wanted, so that's good. Now the last step is to put the GoPro uh, adhesive mount on the actual piece that sticks out. It's pretty obvious. When you put it on, you have to make sure that it is on straight. So those ridges that are on either side are go in line with the gun itself. The reason for that is if you take a GoPro and you mount it on this, that's forward, that's straight, that's the way you want it to be, you don't want it looking off to the right. If you turned it and you stuck it on this way, now you have to take it off and put it back on the other way. Or you could take this mount, uh, it's a little uh, adapter, it's a 90 degree, so it just turns your camera 90 degrees, uh, and you have to put that on. Your camera will sit a little bit higher, and uh, but I mean you will have the added benefit of being able to tilt the camera like this. So if you're always shooting at an angle and you want the gun to be, or you want the camera to be right up, you can have the camera, you know, kind of tilted up. I mean, it's, I guess it's, it's whatever you guys want to do. For me, I think I'm just going to mount it like this and, uh, and just keep it straight on because I like the low profile. And so that's it. Once, uh, once that's mounted, the, uh, the mod's done and uh, you guys are good to go. Uh, the only other thing you might want to do is paint this. Uh, you could, you know, paint it camo or whatever theme you have going on with your gun or, you know, if you've got like a blue gun or something like that, you can paint it all blue, it doesn't matter. And that's it. Once that's all done, you're done. Hey YouTube, while I was editing the video, I realized that I never showed you guys what the mount looks like actually on a paintball gun. So I've got two guns to show you it on today. Uh, first off is my A5 with the magazine conversion kit. So you can see I've got, I've got my sight on here and it doesn't, uh, doesn't obstruct it in any way. I'll turn it the other way so you can see. So it doesn't obstruct my line of sight uh, in any way, which is great. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the first one. I'm gonna take this off of this one, I'm gonna throw it on my Phenom, and then uh, you guys can see that. So here it is on the Phenom. You can see that it's actually mounted upside down right now. But if you're, if you're familiar with the GoPro, you'll know that there's a, a setting in there that automatically flips the video for you, so when you actually go to review the videos afterwards, it'll already be right side up. Uh, if you didn't do that, you can always do it in any video editing program. They've all got an option to rotate the video to get it right side up again. The reason I didn't mount it on top is because it's going to hit the hopper, obviously. Here's my rail ends, and it can't go there. And it's pointless putting it on the other side because when you aim, it's going to be right in front of your face, also making it completely useless. Uh, you can just switch sides, so instead of being on the right side, it would be on the left side by rotating this and then also rotating uh, the GoPro because it's in a clip mount so you just unclip it and then clip it on the other way and that would work fine. Now you can mount it on the top uh, further if you have a long shroud uh, obviously with the Weaver Picatinny rail uh, you'd be able to mount it up further this way obviously you'd turn the camera around or if you had a tack cap which is just a really small cylindrical hopper that sits up here uh, you could use this standard size shroud and, uh, and place it there and then that would work for you as well I did have a chance to try it out and uh, I'll actually show you, I'm working on the video now so I'll show you guys a quick little snippet of, uh, of the video coming up and, uh, and then I'll be right back I told you it was going to be quick, but don't worry, I'll have it posted soon. I'm going to put a link right here, it'll be an image or part of the video, and if you can click on it, then the video is done, it'll take you to the video. If you can't click on it and the link doesn't work, that means that I haven't finished the video yet. So on this side, I'm going to have another video, so you guys can check that out while you're waiting for this other video to be finished. And that's it for the GoPro mount mod. Don't forget to comment below. Uh, and uh, like the video if you guys want to see more modifications and how-tos and things of that sort. And uh, subscribe so that you get to see all the videos right when they come out. Alright, so here's the mod on my... It's completely backwards. That's embarrassing. I want to film this. My knuckles.